Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series of Turbo Machines. This is the sixth lecture on impact object. In this session, I am going to explain about force exerted by jet of water on an unsymmetrical moving curve plate when jet strikes tangentially at one of the tip. Let us see the figure. It shows that jet of water striking a moving curve plate tangentially at one of its tip. As the jet strikes tangentially, the loss of energy due to impact of jet will be zero. In this case, as plate is moving, the velocity with which jet of water strikes is equal to the relative velocity of the jet with respect to the plate. As the direction of jet velocity and when velocity is not same, the relative velocity at the inlet will be vector difference of the jet velocity and plate velocity at inlet. Let us see the components of velocity. V1 and V2 is the absolute velocity of the jet at inlet and outlet. U1 and U2 is the peripheral velocity of when at inlet and outlet. Alpha and beta are the angle of absolute velocity of jet with direction of motion at inlet and outlet. VR1 and VR2 are the relative velocity of jet at inlet and outlet. Theta and phi are the when angles that is angle made by tangent drawn to when with direction of motion of when at inlet and outlet. VW1 and VW2 are the velocity of whirl at inlet and outlet that is component of absolute velocity. VF1 and VF2 is the velocity of flow at inlet and outlet. The triangles ABD and B dash C dash and D dash are called the velocity triangles at inlet and outlet respectively. If the wind is smooth and having velocity in a direction of motion at inlet and outlet equal then U1 is equal to U2 that are the velocities of wind in a direction of motion and VR1 is equal to VR2. So to calculate the force exerted by jet on a wind in a direction of motion of wind for that here we need to apply the impulse momentum principle as we discussed in earlier cases. So force Fx is equal to mass of water striking per second in bracket horizontal component of VR1 in a direction of motion at inlet minus horizontal component of VR2 that is relative velocity at outlet in direction of motion at outlet. If you put the values this mass flow rate is equal to rho A VR1 in bracket VR1 cos theta this is the resolution of uh, relative velocity and minus VR2 cos phi that is the having negative sign which is opposite in direction of jet. If you simplify this we get rho a vr1 in bracket vr1 cos theta plus vr2 cos phi. From the trigonometry if you try to find out the value of vr1 cos theta we get vw1 minus u1 and the value of vr2 cos phi is vw2 plus u2 from the triangles. As we discussed earlier u1 and u2 is same that is the velocity of winds. So after simplification we get rho a vr1 in bracket vw1 plus vw2. Now if you look at here, here beta is less than 90 degree. From the figure you can observe here the value of beta is less than 90 degree. If the value of beta is equal to 90 degree this relation is get modified. So we get rho a vr1 into vw1. Now if the value of beta is greater than 90 degree the correlation is get change so we get fx is equal to rho a vr1 in bracket vw1 minus vw2. Now to find out the work done per second in direction of a jet we know that we have to substitute the fx into u so substitute the value of fx is into u we get rho a vr1 in bracket vw1 plus minus vw2 u depending upon the angle beta you have to put the sign here now to calculate the work done per second 
per unit weight of a fluid striking to the vein is equal to rho a v r 1 in bracket v w 1 plus minus v w 2 into u divided by g into rho a v r 1 this is the word done per second per unit weight of fluid striking if you simplify this we get 1 by g in bracket v w 1 plus minus v w 2 into u now to calculate the efficiency of jet we must know the kinetic energy so kinetic energy of a jet is equal to one half m dot v square so is equal to if you simplify this we get to one half rho a v cube okay so to calculate the efficiency we know the formula is output upon input so output is the work done per second and input is the kinetic energy of jet per second so the efficiency is equal to rho a u v r 1 in bracket v w 1 plus v w 2 into u divided by 1 by 2 rho a v cube this is the efficiency of jet thanks for listening carefully try to solve numerical based on these conditions